champion of the world, introducing the Gypsy King, Tyson. Anyone who is even remotely interested in boxing news knows who Tyson Fury is, and his prowess and skill in the ring is completely undisputed. Plus, he's been able to prove his strength over and over again by becoming the World Heavyweight Champion twice. All of his fame and success have made him incredibly wealthy, and today, we're going to be doing a deep dive into his wealth and lifestyle, finding out just how much money he's got, and exactly how he spends it. But before we begin, if you like this video, please make sure to give us a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more content just like this, and ding that notification bell so you never miss another update from us. Let's get into it. Tyson Luke Fury is a British boxer and is one of the most famous British athletes at the moment, and his Irish traveler heritage has brought him a lot of attention. Tyson Fury has won a lot of fights and a ton of titles, plus some of these include the WBC and Ring Magazine champion titles, IBF, WBO, WBA, and IBO titles. He is also heralded by most media boxing platforms as the lineal heavyweight champion, ESPN, the Transitional Boxing Ranking Board and Box Rec, for example, have pronounced him as 2020 of the best active heavyweight, which is a huge deal. Tyson Fury's legendary boxing career began when he was an amateur, way back in 2006. This is when he was able to have the opportunity to represent both England and Ireland in the ring, and he fought for Ireland internationally three times. Having a presence on the world stage at an amateur level was foreshadowing his future career, and his wins obviously inspired him to work even harder to further his fighting skills. He won bronze for Ireland in 2006 at the AIBA Youth World Boxing Championship. It was at this point that his career ended up taking him to England, and he won silver in the European Junior Championship the following summer in July 2007. It did not take him long after making his presence known at international fights for Tyson Fury to turn professional, and in November of 2008, he debuted his professional career against Bella Yongosi, winning with a TKO in the first round. He continued to rise up through the professional boxing ranks until he had won the English Heavyweight Championship twice. His next feat was to be able to win the British and Commonwealth Championship in 2011, adding victory after victory to his growing career. By summer of 2006, his success had proven it had consequences. Tyson Fury gained a huge amount of weight and struggled with training motivation until he sprained an ankle sparring. Bizarrely, on the exact same day, Tyson Fury and his cousin, Huey Fury, were accused and charged by the UK Anti-Doping Agency of using a prohibited substance. The pair had denied the charges, and Fury's upcoming fight was postponed once more. Shortly before this fight was scheduled to take place, he was tested for drugs once more and again he failed, this time testing positive for cocaine. He had admitted having experienced problems with depression over the recent months, particularly ever since he had accomplished victory in gaining his world championship titles. In an interview with Rolling Stone, he was particularly forthcoming about his problems, saying, quote, I'm going through a lot of personal demons, trying to shake them off. This has got nothing to do with me fighting. What I'm going through right now is my personal life. I've not been in a gym for months. I've been going through depression. I just don't want to live anymore, if you know what I'm saying. I've had enough of it. Never mind cocaine. I just didn't care. I don't want to live anymore. So cocaine is a little minor thing that compared to not wanting to live anymore. I'm seeking help, but they can't do nothing for me. What I've got is incurable. I don't want to live. All the money in the world, fame, and glory means nothing if you're not happy. I'm seeing psychiatrists. They say I've got a version of bipolar. I'm a manic depressive. I don't want to wake up. I hope I die every day. And that's a bad thing to say when I've got three children and a lovely wife, isn't it? But I don't want to live anymore. And if I could take my own life and I wasn't a Christian, I'd take it in a second. I just hope someone kills me before I kill myself. I have to spend eternity in hell. I've been out drinking Monday to Friday to Sunday and taking cocaine. I can't deal with it. And the only thing that helps me is when I get drunk out of my mind. This honesty into his feelings really gave fans a glimpse into just how badly he was struggling and how much pressure he must have felt at being under a spotlight all the time. Despite Fury saying, that his depression was not caused by his fame, it definitely can't have helped by the constant pressure of the paparazzi and online rumors. After receiving medical help, he made a comeback in 2018, after which he got a huge deal with ESPN and a contract worth over 80 million pounds, which is about 100 million dollars. He had his first ever fight in Las Vegas, a city known for some of the most famous boxing matches of all time, winning via TKO in front of a huge audience of almost 10,000 people. This comeback fight had got him a lot of notoriety 
notoriety and praise from the wider boxing community and the media. Plus, the success had spurred him on to undertake a rematch against Wilder, one of his previous career defeats. The rematch was a huge success, and he won with a technical knockout in the seventh round. All this drama and media hype had meant that Fury got a lot of fame, which does equal a lot of money. His latest upcoming fight against Anthony Joshua is reported to be worth around 200 million pounds, and it stands to reason that his recent matches have yielded similar sums of money. It's estimated that at the time of writing this, Tyson Fury has a net worth of around $30 million, although other news sources places his net worth anywhere from up to $100 million. We can't be certain though, but without a doubt, it's definitely a large sum of money. Reports from his recent stay in Las Vegas on the run up to his next fight show him taking lavish spending sprees around the huge city, being photographed wearing designer brands from Versace, Louis Vuitton, and a few others, and not to mention jewelry, accessories, and watches that he always has on display. Photographs from around his home show brilliantly colored design rooms with colored furnishing and large pieces of art, which take up a lot of the wall space. His style is definitely distinct, flavoring loud, extravagant colors splashed with gold that some might call gaudy or even tacky. His Instagram page shows him displaying his wealth in photos with a private jet and lavish striking outfits. He likes to travel and take expensive trips, and has been photographed recently on sunny beaches with glittering sands, obviously with a pair of designer sunglasses on his face. He clearly loves showing off how wealthy he is, and contrary to many other athletes' social media profiles, he has fewer photos of him training and far more of him displaying his expensive possessions. He just doesn't spend his millions on himself either. He enjoys showering his family with lavish gifts and presents. For her birthday last winter, he bought his wife Paris thousands of dollars worth of gifts, including designer shoes, Moet champagne, chocolates, and lots of flowers. It definitely seems like for Tyson Fury, showing his wealth is a very important part of his social status, and it also seems like promoting his luxury brand is promoting his brand. The more he shouts about how grandiose he is, the more attention he gets in the media. That means that in turn, his fights get more attention and he will earn more money from the purse winnings. He recently did get in trouble with his wife, however, because despite the lavish gifts that he showers her, she was recently pictured without her wedding ring. Apparently, according to rumors, she was angry with him after he was photoshopped on a beach in Miami having his bulging muscles ripped by a group of beautiful women who were wearing revealing bikinis. She wasn't pleased and posted a picture she claimed was only of her nails after getting them done, but mysteriously, her wedding ring was not present. Tyson Fury, however, seemed to not take the rumors of an argument between them very seriously because afterwards, he was posting a lighthearted video stating that he was in the doghouse. Either there really isn't anything for the couple to worry about, or he isn't taking his wife's feelings as seriously as he should be. Whatever had happened between the two of them is almost certain that between now and the upcoming fight with Anthony Joshua, we will see more of Tyson Fury's luxury life broadcast for all of his fans to see on Instagram. Thanks so much for watching today's video. Please remember to give us a big thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more content just like this, and ding that notification bell so you never miss another update from us. Until next time, guys, we'll see you later.